Oh yeah, we got something from the FedEx man. You guys have already seen the thumbnail, but uh, let's roll the intro anyway. All right, so let's get this bad boy opened up. All right, so inside the box, we have the Spot X two-way satellite messenger. There's also a Spot Gen 3. It's not a two-way, it's a one-way messaging system. Let's open this thing up and see what's inside the box. Inside the box is another box. We have a nice uh, carabiner clip. Got a sticker. By the way, this is not a full review. We'll just call this an unboxing uh, until I have the opportunity to test it. I can't really do a full review. All right, so inside the box, we have the device itself, which basically looks like an old school Blackberry with a really big antenna. Uh, this looks like some sort of USB, USB to, I don't know if it's micro USB or uh, mini USB charging cable. And then we have the quick start guide right here. And then basically like emergency response service information, a couple of stickers, the fact that we probably need to do a firmware update, no big surprise. That's like anything you get anymore. And uh, warranty information and safety information. I'm not, I'm not really going to pyre this thing up in this video. I just wanted to talk about it for a moment or two as to why I bought one um, and, and what I'm planning on using it for. Hopefully, I really never have to use it. But um, So first off, they've dropped the price on these things. Uh, you basically have, at least in my opinion, and they have another model too, you basically have two main options. You have this Spot two-way or Spot X two-way communication system, and there's also a Spot Gen three as as of the making of this video, which is a one one-way messaging system that allows you to send an SOS or predetermined text messages, those sorts of things. Um, they've dropped the price. It was that the Gen three was around 150 bucks. It's dropped down to about 100 bucks, and the Spot X was 250. It dropped down to 200. And I was like, eh, it's a hundred dollars difference. And the fact that I can send two-way messages and actually, you know, actually receive them back from people just seemed like a better idea to me, especially when we're only talking a hundred dollar price point difference. And then you look into the different messaging plans and data, I'm just gonna call them data plans, subscription plans, whatever you want to call them. It's not a big difference between them. So I just thought this was the better option. So why did I decide to get it? <sighs> you know, I probably should have gotten one sooner but I'm still in my 30s. I like to think I'm indestructible. I like to think I can go anywhere I want and get out of any situation I want. But the truth is, emergencies do happen. And I would rather spend a little bit of money for not even really my peace of mind, but Kristen's peace of mind and my family's peace of mind to know that I'm safe when I'm out riding solo. Those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that I did a solo trip to Alaska back in 2018. I've done plenty of, you know, whatever you want to call them. I mean, basically they are solo trips, just me and Kristen on the bike, uh, but there's no other riders with us. And we've gone cross country multiple times. You know, knock wood, never had an issue. Um, I went out and rode the Mid-Atlantic BDR solo. Uh, I do some dirt bike riding out in the, you want to call it wilderness, woods, whatever, solo. I do go out with friends plenty on the dirt bike. Uh, but it just seemed like a good idea. And, and maybe or maybe not last week no one out riding in a national forest and i may have ended up getting kind of spun around out there normally i'm really really good at following a map following directions all those sorts of things this is more of an emergency device the other thing i like about it is while we like to think that you know these cell phones can pick up pretty much anywhere the truth is they can't I've ridden plenty of places where I cannot get a cell phone signal. So if there were an emergency and I can't reach back to home or, or I can't call the authority, you know, I can't call for help, those sorts of things, this is where this steps in. I mean, the coverage on these things is ridiculous. Aside from like a strip of Africa, I think Antarctica and like up around Greenland or whatever, they pretty much work everywhere else that you could possibly ride a motorcycle. And the other nice part about it is I've stayed in some remote areas where maybe you can get Wi-Fi, maybe maybe not at a hotel or a campground, something like that. Um, 
but there is no cell service. So to just be able to check in at the end of the night to let Kristen know or someone in my family know that, hey, I made it in safely, you know, it, it's a great thing to have for a, a minimal cost. I mean, we're probably looking at a subscription service between, I don't know, $120, $150 a year, which is a hell of a lot better than being dead. So, uh, sorry, I don't mean to make that, you know, sound like it's not important. It is important, but the point is like the financial cost, we already ride motorcycles. And if, if you're following this channel, chances are you tour on your motorcycle. It's a cost, it's a luxury, it's whatever you want to call it. So, you know, instead of buying that new go fast part or those anodized parts for your bike to make it look a little bit cooler, if you're really touring on your motorcycle, I'm not trying to talk you into one of these. I'm just saying you might want to check into one. Again, I haven't used it. Look for a full review video probably six, eight months from now because I really want to test this thing out. In addition to the trips I have done, Brian and I are headed down to Costa Rica in two months. It's a guided dirt bike tour, so I don't expect there to be any issues, but should there be, it's nice to have a backup on your person, whether you throw this in your jacket pocket or wherever it may go. It's still small enough. Now the Gen 3 is smaller. Uh, this thing is just, eh, whatever, you can still fit this in the jacket pocket. It's not that big a deal. but. Just thought it might be a good idea. Kristen and I discussed it last week. I said, hey, what do you think? She said, it would make me feel a little bit better. It's got some cool features where you can track, you know, whoever has the device on them. So if I was on like another big cross country or transcontinental or, you know, whatever type of motorcycle trip, she'd be able to track along to see where I'm at at any given point in time uh, within a few minutes of accuracy anyway before I check in for the end of the night. So anyway, just wanted to share the fact, I picked one of these bad boys up, look for a review video down the road. But in the meantime, this is just kind of an unboxing. We'll, we'll test this thing out, I promise. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting that subscribe button because if you like motorcycles, well, this is the place to be. If you have any questions about this thing, give me a little bit of time. But if you have used one, whether it's the Spot X, it's the Gen 3, or it's one of the previous generations, let me know, you know what you thought of it down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And as always, I'll talk to you again soon.